If you are living in State College, Pennsylvania, and you would like to become a real estate investor, please join me for the next seven to ten minutes for a wonderful real estate learning extravaganza. I'm going to tickle you pink with some knowledge. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. I am James Wise. This is my brainchild, Holton Wise TV. And what this is, is personalized videos, working with investors from all over the world, helping you guys get started in the game. Myself, I've done 200 million in sales, run the largest portfolio of its kind of rentals in my neighborhood. So I know a thing or two, right? And today I'm working with my man, Mike. Mike's just getting started in the real estate game, and he's living in State College. And you can invest in PA, you can invest in Detroit, you can invest wherever you want, folks. The info I give you here on the show is aimed to teach you how to learn, learn about the business. But part of the business is delegation, right? I got all these. I just, I just told you. I have all these rental properties, more rentals. I got all these rentals. I haven't stepped foot in one of my rentals in like four years. Why? Because I have employees to do that for me, right? I have boots on the ground. I have aces in their places. So people like Mike are trying to tap into that. And instead of starting from scratch, doing everything on his own in State College, he's going to do the process with us. And that's what we do. We give you the education. Do with it what you will. Do it in your own market. Go out there and crush. Or if you want to go one step further and partner with us, get your own show and have my team handle the property management, maintenance, construction, insurance, represent you as your broker in the sale, click the show notes below. Book a free call with my team. You'll hop on the phone with my guys or gals, and they'll talk to you about the process and get your own video like Mike. And then when you get your own video, I cut it to you straight, right? And I'm about to cut it to you straight, Mike. You gave me a wish list of stuff, and we're going to talk about your wish list here. Uh, you want to be all in on a duplex for 23000 or less. You're going to use uh, a traditional loan to do the rest. You want it to be turnkey. You want... The price to rent ratio to be 1.5% or higher. That means if it's a $100,000 building, you have to uh, get $1,500 a month in rent. That's what that means, okay? Or more. Uh, you want it already rented uh, for $750 per unit. Uh, you want the building to have vinyl siding because uh, of all the Cleveland housing lead-based paint regulations. And um, that's what you want. Okay, great, cool. That's what you want. Now. Here's where the tough love comes in. You ain't going to get all that, player. <laughs> it ain't going to happen. I'm going to get you close. The property I got today is as close as it gets to checking all those boxes, but it's not going to check all of them. First thing I want to address for you before I even get into the deal, vinyl siding because of the Cleveland lead-based paint regulations. It's not bad, right? It's pretty smart. It's a pretty savvy move out of you, Mike. It's, it's smart. You're paying attention to the market. What you guys got to know, is these new lead-based paint regulations, they are Cleveland-specific. We're talking about the Cleveland market here on this show, okay? Uh, Cleveland, the city, like 360,000 residents. The area, the metro area I operate in, like 4 million residents. So uh, the actual city of Cleveland is a small little thing in a whole metro region, right? So uh, this property does not have vinyl siding. However, it is not located in the city of Cleveland, so you do not have to worry about their new every two years we're going to check for lead-based paint on all rental property regulations, right? Uh, this city, my opinion, government, uh, much more landlord-friendly, so they are not doing those types of regulations. So uh, it does not have the vinyl setting, but that's not something you need to worry about. Some of your other stuff, you want to be all in for 23 k or less. Not going to happen with the rest of your wish list. This property... Uh, at the best case scenario, you're probably going to get in at 25k. Uh, you may need a little bit more. Uh, it's not already rented, but it's rent ready, and it will project out at the 1.5% rent ratio. So, uh, without further ado, I'm going to get into the numbers, and you need to know that this is as good as it gets, most likely, right? The markets they go up, they go down, they go up, they go down. Uh, I don't see anything 
any closer to your wish list than this one coming across uh, anybody's desk anytime soon, though. So uh, does it hit all your boxes, Mike? No, but uh, all your boxes were not 100% realistic with the competition in the market today. So without further ado, let's jump into the numbers. Two, please. Welcome back, folks. Let's pick up the property. This one is a killer deal, man. I love this one, right? Look at this thing. She might, might not look so pretty on the eyes, but once she gets to know her, folks, she's got a good soul. You know what I'm saying? All right, this duplex, nice solid C-grade duplex, nice wood here, looking fresh, looking new. Third key, man. And they've gone in and done everything, and they renovated it the same way I would have renovated it, right? Fans of the show, y'all hear me talk. You go dark floors. People love them dark floors. Agreeable gray walls, white trim. That's what you do, right? If you're watching this and you're like, yeah, I like the color blue better, blah, blah, blah. Bro, it's not about you, okay? It's about what is popular, right? It's about neutral tones. It's about... Not picking out the favorite color of somebody, it's picking out a color that most people are going to be cool with, right? And statistically speaking, that's going to be this layout, right? White kitchen cabinets, all that looking good. This is a fresh unit, man. We got to do nothing here, it appears, other than pop a for rent sign in the front yard, market this bad boy on Holton Wise TV, and you will get yourself some solid tenants, man. Looks like the seller has gone in and done it all, right? Truly. Good looking property for us, folks. And what we're going to do, uh, we're going to be able to get a, oh, by the way, <coughs> hard to see, but you can see the mechanicals in the background all new, right? All newer. Look how new those all look, right? Two furnaces, two hot water tanks. It's very important that these are new, by the way, folks. Just so you know, furnaces cost about three to $3,500 a piece right now. So if you got to do two of them, do the math. That's 7K. Hot water tanks, about a G, it's like 1200 Prices keep going up, right? It's 2022. Welcome to the COVID world. Welcome to Biden's inflation. Anyway, moral of the story is all this stuff that you see here that's new, you're looking at like $9,000 worth of stuff, right? Hot water tanks, they last about 15 years. Furnaces last about 30, right? So they did a lot of work for you, right? This thing is in solid shape. This is an earner, man. This is probably one of the better investments on the market, right? Solid C-grade neighborhood. I like the neighborhood. 228 Gates, Illyria. Two days on the market. We're going to need to move quick, right? This will fly. It's going to have multiple offers. Now, they're asking 100, right? And we're going to get. What are we going to get? What are we going to get? For, or they're asking 110, rather. What are we going to get? Well, we're going to slap two tenants in there. Cash paying or Section 8. Both work well in this neighborhood. This is a neighborhood where the neighborhood, in my opinion, is solid enough where you get a decent chunk of qualified cash paying tenants. But on top of that, love me some Section 8 because there ain't nothing better than government guaranteed cheddar. So it works well with both. Those are really the sweet spot markets, markets where you get the widest possible tenant base, right? It's how you keep your tenancy uh, vacancies down, folks, right? If you get into some neighborhoods that are so high risk, your really only choice is Section 8 because if you try to go with just cash paying tenants, you're going to deal with just way too many turnovers and evictions and not payment of rent, right? And then you get to other neighborhoods that are real nice, and you don't really want to go Section 8 because you have really nice, high-quality tenant base, but the price to rent ratios are usually all out of whack. So this is like the C spot. If people often ask me questions like, yo, is this good? Is this good? Is that good? Is this bad, right? Is this neighborhood good? Is this neighborhood bad? I don't. I don't like those questions. I don't like the question of, is this neighborhood good or is this neighborhood bad? I think that's a flawed question, right? Why is that a flawed question? Good for what? Bad for what, right? I, it's not a thing, right? Like, all right, this particular neighborhood is good in the uh, aspect that I think this is the sweet spot for investing in long-term buy and hold real estate, right? Like if you're asking me if I think this is good for a buy and hold investor who wants that sweet spot of low prices, high price to rent ratio, wide tenant base, I think it's great. I love buying rental properties in neighborhoods like this. I happen to love Elyria quite a bit 
from a rental property perspective. But if you're asking me, like, do I want to live in this house? No, motherfucker, I'm rich. I don't want to live in this house. Shit. So I don't like the answer or the question of, like, good or bad, right? Because of that. Because of that. What I did is I created the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods, right? And I got a link to it in the show notes below. It's also available on the tools and resources section of HoltonWise.com. You can also Google it. And what I did is I graded every neighborhood on an 8F scale. A being high price, low risk. F being low price, high risk, okay? So, like, good, bad, it varies based on good for what, bad for what, varies based upon the investor, right? So, utilize that guide to see where your sweet spot is, right? You might be an investor who's like, dude, I want the cheapest deals possible, and I only want Section 8. Well, then, hey, man, for you, you might be able to get something like this a little bit cheaper and only go Section 8 if you go to, like, a D or an F neighborhood. But you might be like, oh, I don't want risk, and you might want to go up to, like, a B neighborhood, right? So look into that. With all that said, this is, like, a very, very high C-grade neighborhood, which, in my opinion is a nice sweet spot for long-term cash flow investing, okay? So I truly do like that, and this is going to fly. But 110, I would love in a perfect world to be able to get you this property 100K. Now, here's the deal. I think there's going to be multiple offers. So if you really want it, don't be afraid to go above 100K. But I think 100K would be the sweet spot. It'd be nice to see you get that, but I cannot guarantee that, of course. I can't guarantee anything, but it's going to be tough because I know there's going to be a lot of people who are very excited to see it renovated, to see all those new mechanicals, right? This is what the numbers would look like uh, on an annualized basis at 100K. 1,500 comes in, 781 25 would be your average NOI out of that, right? So of the 18K that comes in every year, an average would be just under 10K in pure profit, right? Even though the furnace is new, the hot water tanks are new, you see that I have you saving money towards capital expenditures, right? I have you saving 900 a year for that, 900 a year for vacancy, 900 a year for repairs and maintenance. Those are all $900 that go into your pocket, but I don't want you to consider them to be profit because in 15 years, I'm like, hey, dog, you need to give me a grant because we got to fix your hot water tank, things of that nature. Or eventually, a tenant will move out, and those beautiful, agreeable gray walls you see right now are going to need to get repainted, stuff like that, right? Pure $9,375, though, in profit is what I anticipate. If you pay 100 you only put down 25 k Bank kicks in 75 should result in a 22.3% cash on cash return. That, folks, is a solid deal. Very hard to achieve numbers that look better than this on a property of this quality level with this age of mechanicals in a neighborhood that I consider to be high C, low B. I think this is a killer deal. Works at 100 perfectly. Yes, your returns will go down slightly if you go above that, but I think based on the competition, all the investors coming from all over the world, you may want to bid more than 100, but I can submit any offer you like. Let me know what you want to do. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.